The ancient Mayans, a sprawling civilization across Central America, have fascinated historians and explorers for centuries. While their crumbling pyramids and intricate hieroglyphics have left their mark, the everyday lives of the Mayans are a captivating tapestry waiting to be unraveled. Intriguingly, the Mayans had a penchant for fermented chocolate enemas, bedazzled their teeth with gemstones, and played ball games that could be deadly. More than you'd probably ever imagine, modern society and ancient Maya civilization have a lot in common, including body piercings, baseball, and getting high on chocolate. Let's explore the reality of ancient Mayan life today. Enemas made of fermented chocolate made them drunk. The vast ancient Mayan empire included southern Mexico, Honduras, El Salvador, Belize, and Guatemala, and it covered much of Central America. If you could escape being sacrificed to one of the 165 gods adored by the advanced bright Mayans, you could spend your days working, eating, and acquiring tattoos. Even though the ancient Mayans spent a lot of time worshipping their gods, they couldn't have done it without some alcoholic drinks that had been tainted. Balche, one ritual beverage, was made from fermented tree bark and was honey-sweetened. The Mayans regarded this beverage as a gift from the gods. Therefore, if you're purchasing one, purchase two. Additionally, they got boozed up on cacao-based alcoholic beverages, which were often tainted with hallucinogens. Keep an eye out for that punch bowl if you ever find yourself at a home party with an old Mayan. There's little doubt that the Mayans were avid drinkers. In fact, many Mayans would take enemas to become as drunk as they possibly could. Their teeth were bejeweled. Even if the Mayans existed thousands of years before gold teeth and grills came to define a generation of hip-hop fashion, it doesn't mean that they weren't brought up long before it became fashionable. For their period, the Mayans practiced superior dental hygiene, particularly in the area of aesthetic dentistry. In the past, going to the dentist was more like going to a beauty parlor than the antiseptic, fluorescent-lit hellscape it is now. In fact, it was usual for Mayans to have carefully cut out holes pierced with stones into their teeth. Despite the fact that there was no nerve injury, the Mayan dental procedures hurt. But being able to display a mouthful of stones was worthwhile. At least you would emerge from your root canal looking like Lil Wayne, even if they may not have used Novocaine or laughing gas. Additionally, you may as well dress stylishly if you're about to be sacrificed to the gods at any time. They experimented with human sacrifice. People's sacrifice to the gods was perhaps one of the most notorious features of the ancient Mayan polytheistic culture. Due to their infancy and purity, children were often the best offerings. However, it was also common for captives, prisoners of war, and even ordinary Mayan adults to be slaughtered during sacrificial rites. And if that weren't enough to keep you on edge, their main form of sacrifice is opening the chest and extracting the heart. They do all of those actions while standing atop a pyramid. And as if that weren't dramatic enough, they then dump the dead corpse down some steps. You would want to be sacrificed as well if you had to ascend that many stairs. The Mayans created chocolate. In addition to knowing how to eat, the Mayans also understood how to drink. The three main components of the Mayan diet were maize, squash, and beans, together known as the Three Sisters, or the three primary food groups. The Mayans also ate chili peppers, sweet potatoes, avocados, tomatoes, papayas, onions, and garlic in addition to the staples. They consumed fish, turkey, venison, iguana, dog, peccary, and wild pigs as their primary sources of meat. The first culture to manufacture corn tortillas was the Maya. Therefore, if you like chips and dip, you should pay homage to the Mayan culture that inspired that guacamole scoop. They were the first culture to roast cacao beans to manufacture chocolate, and they also developed tamales. Those are yours to thank, Mayans. They took their sports seriously. The world's oldest team sport is called Pocatok, and if you were a prehistoric Mayan looking to let off some steam on the court, you undoubtedly played it. Pocatok, in contrast to a casual game of playground basketball, was not for the weak-hearted. 
Even LeBron James could have had trouble using just his core and hips to bounce around a 10-pound rubber ball. Players might pass away from internal bleeding only from being struck by the ball with enough power, and the game was well known for its brutality. To decide who would be offered as a sacrifice to the gods, captives were sometimes made to play a game of Pocketok against one another. That is the definition of a game with sudden death. Travel was done on foot or by canoe. If you had to travel the same route that the ancient Mayas did, you would undoubtedly get some foot blisters. A network of paved roadways, or sakbe, that were elevated above the ground, sometimes as high as eight feet, linked cities. Enslaved people also had to carry everything on foot, sometimes while being bound in heavy chains, since the Mayans didn't utilize animals to aid in transporting stuff. The Mayans traveled via canoes that were sometimes 50 feet long to reach more outlying places. In any event, it was probably much simpler to remain at home and relax if you wished to go a large distance during the time of the ancient Mayans. The ancient Mayans had a hard life. If you could make it a mile in these tattoo-bleeding, human-sacrificing, 10-pound basketball-playing shoes, you would definitely be longing for that funnel of anal wine as well. Children's heads were bound to conform to Mayan beauty standards. If you ever feel that your appearance doesn't meet society's expectations, remember that the Mayans' idea of beauty included having cross eyes and a head that is elongated and shaped like an ear of corn. In a process similar to that of the Egyptians, the Mayans would tie their newborns' flexible heads between two boards of wood for extended periods in order to acquire the appearance of the day. They did this because they were so determined to seem like a far-sighted yellow vegetable. Imagine a society where individuals competed to get George Costanza-like receding hairlines. In order to get a more pronounced receding hairline, males would shave or even burn their hairlines in the days of the ancient Mayans, who were huge fans of the five-head appearance. The aristocracy furthermore donned ornate headdresses made of jade, animal skins, and other priceless materials. In many ways, our privileged class now is similar. Just take a peek at the fire Festival attendees' headdresses. Tobacco was used as an asthma treatment. Asthma was considered to be treated by the Mayans with tobacco, which was about as logical as treating alcoholism with a shot of vodka. They were also responsible for certain other medical errors, such as believing that drinking beer or vomiting would treat an upset stomach. It seems like someone who was intoxicated came up with that one. Despite a few medical errors, the Mayans were very clean and often took baths. The Mayans developed a custom of washing their hands and lips after eating. They often took cold or steam baths before religious events, whereas other societies lived in feces-covered fortresses. Their tattoo and piercing culture was very important. Be grateful you never came across a Mayan person if you think tattooed bikers are threatening. They were painted on, then sliced into, and finally another coat of paint was applied over the gaping hole as part of the tattooing procedure. The thought of going through that procedure makes having a peace symbol tattooed on your ankle seem less appealing. It was thought that Mayans who acquired tattoos were among the bravest individuals ever. Women would also have tattoos, avoiding the breast region, while males would wait until after marriage to receive theirs. In addition to being fashionable, piercings were also often used as bloody sacrifices to the gods. Mayans used thorns or stingray spines to pierce their ears, genitalia, and tongues for both ceremonial and beauty purposes, which is more punk than any counterculture scenester could ever dream. The Mayans were skilled jewelry craftsmen, which contributed to their passion for body piercing. However, only males used lip and nose plugs. You can state with certainty that the procedure left all of their faces, well, holy, regardless of whether the piercing was performed for religious or secular purposes. Jewelry was worn as an embellishment on clothes. Even though they had tattoos, piercings, jewelry for their teeth, and wild hairstyles, most ancient Mayans kept their attire basic. In colder weather, men sometimes added capes to their standard loincloths. Women wore long skirts and blouses. But what kind of society would we have if the wealthy didn't dress to the nines? You would definitely see affluent men and women wearing beautiful outfits that were jeweled with shells and jade during ancient Mayan fashion week. 
Women generally worked at home raising children, gathering honey, sewing, and crafting ceramics among commoners. At the same time, it may seem archaic in comparison to contemporary culture, but gender roles at least contributed to the development of clay bowls. Men generally worked in the so-called milpas, while women mainly performed household duties. Given that the ancient Mayans did not have animals like horses or oxen to assist them in caring for crops, it was no simple feat. All farming was carried out using man's own hands as a brutal force. Discourse DIY. That's all for this video. We'll be back soon with another informative video. Don't forget to like and share this video. To keep exploring ancient history together, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time!